What is shadow work and why do we need it? We've all heard the word shadow work, heard the term referenced throughout the community. But however, most do not understand what it all entails. As individuals and as collectives, we don't know who we are. And shadow work is the way to figure out such a vast question. Because in referencing who we are, we like to imagine all altruistic and auspicious characterizations of ourselves. And the reality is that that is not true. There is some dark stuff. There is some not so great things about ourselves that we need to realize and integrate into our personalities. And the first thing that we have to do is abstract ourselves and look at ourselves from a segmented reality. In this video, we will look at the persona and our shadow. Both of these segments of ourselves are needed for shadow work to commence. Now, let us look at the persona. We need to adopt our persona as soon as we are born in order to exist in this world. Usually when we are with our friends, we have a mask. We with our family, we have a mask. And when we're at work, we have a mask. And in the public, we have a mask. And these masks are our different personas. These are suitable masks dependent on the situation. A persona in our everyday language is a social role or a character played by an actor. This word is derived from Latin where it originally referred to a theatrical mask. So we utilize our personas in all public situations. And because of this, it's easy to identify with the mask that we wear. And this creates a problem for our individuals and society at large. The problem is that no one knows who they really are. And we've got so used to wearing our masks that we think we are the mass. So we naturally, through our lives, want to please our authority figures. When we're at school, we want that gold star, we want that pat on our back from dad, we want that smile from our mom. And these are the positive feelings from others that we really rely on to become our best selves. Our worst selves don't simply disappear but they form a thought form that we know now as the shadow. Where does the shadow come from? The shadow comes from a sense of being agreeable with our surroundings as a need for survival, but being agreeable creates the most problems for us. Being agreeable is essentially avoiding conflict, but that conflict is the very same thing you need to solve your problems. So, Shadow work within itself is conflict and conflict can and should be handled constructively when it is our relationships benefit. When we avoid the conflict, it's not a, it doesn't mean that we have a good relationship. If you have a relationship with somebody and you never argue, that doesn't mean that the relationship is good. On the contrary, it's a symptom of a very serious, serious problem that you guys have poor communication. And if there is poor communication, there is a very large shadow just waiting to emerge and cause havoc. But when we are able to discuss and talk about our conflicts and handle it constructively, then we are doing a form of shadow work. But what is the shadow? The shadow are the traits that we dislike, would rather ignore, when we do not understand why we dislike or choose to ignore the things that grab our attention, this shadow grows. We know we need to do our shadow work. We know that there are things within us that just aren't right. But since we're preoccupied with the surface things and the opinions of others, we put that to the side. And when we put that to the side, an interesting thing happens. We start to project that onto other people. What we don't like about others is something that you have within yourself and wish to not see. When we decide that we want to grow, 
we bring our shadow into check. We deal with the conflict in a safe, constructible way. We understand that our persona is our persona. It is our mask and we need it for public situations, but it is not us. And so through this balance with the persona, we are beginning to do shadow work. Now, I know what you're thinking. You're a perfect person. You don't need shadow work. Shadow work is for us monsters. Shadow work is pointless. But just know that your unwillingness to find faults within yourself, to find weaknesses within yourself, is creating a shadow right as we speak. And to get over that fact, you just don't do shadow work. And because of that, you will continue to shadow project. But that is not solving the problem, nor are you growing. You are safe in your own little bubble of right and exactness when it's really not. When one tries desperately to be good and wonderful and perfect, then all the more shadow develops a definite will to be black and evil and destructive. People cannot see that. They are always striving to be marvelous. And then they discover that terrible destructive things happen, which they cannot understand. And they either deny that such facts have anything to do with them, or if they admit them, they take them for natural afflictions or they try to minimize them and shift the responsibility elsewhere. The fact is that if one tries beyond one's capacity to be perfect, the shadow descends into hell and becomes the devil. Shadow work is realizing that your negative feelings, they start with you. The second step is to withdraw and integrate your shadow. Being alone and journaling will allow you to figure out who you are and figuring out who you are is the most important part of this work. A lot of people call it shadow work, but I would like to call it soul work. Modern humans are now ignorant of their souls. We have forgotten that our soul is the larger part of us. Shadow work is finding your soul and discovering who you truly are. We look to others who are lost themselves to tell us who we are. The psychics, readers, and life coaches are unable to provide you with this information. The truth is that we have to do the work ourselves to discover our soul. And if we do not integrate our shadow, we will initiate World War III. Now I added this video to a playlist called Shadow Work and I have two other videos specifically designed for shadow work. I have the Dark Knight of the Soul explained and then I have shadow work explained. If you need help with anything else, please feel free to email me at hoodmystic at gmail.com. Hopefully this video was clear and straight to the point and it got you moving towards shadow work and you understand how important it is. Thank you for your time and you guys have a great day. Peace.